Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. This is Brandon with Tailwater Outfitters. And if you want to catch an absolute unit of a snook, you need these five baits. So today we are talking about probably when it comes to Florida, the number one inshore species, and that is the snook, the snook. And we have compiled with lots of scientific research and whatnot, the five best baits for said snook fishing. So let's get into it. Number five, this is, everybody knows it, the spool tech. This is where we implement the Rick finger. Did I say Rick finger? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yeah, Rick flare. Wow. The Rick Murphy shaky finger method to give you a nice look-see. So this is the six inch fat spool tech. Everybody knows it. Cool thing about the spool tech though, if you don't, is that from the outside looking in, it is a swim bait. It does everything a swim bait does. It's got tail, got a head. But the, the cool thing about this is whenever you set the hook on a fish with a spool tech, a steel leader deploys. So that does two things. One, it lets you use very light leaders because that snook is not going to ever touch it. So you can use lighter leaders, they won't see it and you're gonna catch bigger fish. And also two, that steel cable, that's not gonna break. I mean, a, a snook is never going to break that. So you have the opportunity to catch a really big snook with light leader and do it well. And then when you're done with it, you just reel it back up. Hold please, we're reeling. And then you make sure the hook is seated and you're ready to fish. Number four is probably the OG of OG snook baits is the red tail hawk, the flare hawk, the snook jig, whatever you want to call it. This is though an original red tail hawk. They, a lot of people call this dragging the mop and essentially all that you're going to do with this is you are literally going to take it in a pass a bridge somewhere with deeper waters a jetty and you're going to cast this out and you're literally going to drag it on the bottom i'll be honest i don't know what this is supposed to look like when it comes to a snook but it works i've caught some nice fish on this and you are pretty much gonna have a good time if you bring these out on a late night and go snook fishing it's, it's gonna catch you some fish so Next, let's go to number three. So the number three is going to be the Hen Lures 4.5. So this is, the colorway is purple Lamborghini. It's a custom color that we have. But this is an awesome profile bait. So five through three have been a little bit larger profiles and that's fine because there are a lot of snook that like that larger profile and typically it's going to look like a mullet. Um, nice thing about this bait is that the tail rolls really well so it's going to push a whole bunch of water it's going to create that vibration it's going to make some noise and get get them all get them all bricked up and going <laughs> <laughs> nice thing about this one is that four or five size is the perfect silhouette kind of bait profile as a mullet and that's where the top five, five through three baits that we have here are gonna be a little bit bigger because they are going to imitate a larger bait. They're going to imitate a mullet. And that's where we're gonna kinda of take a little bit of a turn to number two. So number two is an NLBN three inch paddle tail. And what we like to say about this, is, and everybody says it is, sometimes elephants eat peanuts too. That means that sometimes those big fish wanna eat something a little bit smaller. Nice thing about this is the profile is still thicker though. It's got a bigger body, that tail rolls. It's gonna make that, that friction. It's gonna create that vibration in the water and, and get them going. This bait is awesome when those bigger fish are a little bit more slower and lethargic and they wanna eat something maybe a little bit easier. So they're gonna go after that smaller bait profile. So that's why we put this as number two because it does work really well in some of those different situations and scenarios. With that being said though, we're on to number one. So, number one is very, very near and dear to my heart. It is a very special bait, and it is the one and only Yozuri Top Knock Pencil. So, I will preface by saying that if I am fishing spinning setups, I'm using this probably like 98% of the time. This is pretty much the only lure that I throw. 
And that's not because it looks cool and it's beautiful and majestic, which it is, but it works. This is the perfect silhouette of a finger mullet. I like bone, and I think when it comes to color choices in baits, I think the most important thing is that you have confidence in it. And if you have confidence in a bait, it is going to work because you trust it. I trust the white, I trust the bone, so that's, that's what I use. But the difference between the Yozuri Top Knock Pencil and some of the other topwater lures, and they all work for sure. This one though is a little bit heavier, surprisingly. And it is going to sit just a little bit lower in the water. It's still a top water, there's no doubt about that, but it just sits a tad bit lower, so it creates that perfect kind of movement back and forth to get those fish going. And also too, the hooks on this are upgraded. The, the knock in it is incredible. I can't say anything bad about this. And also too, you can literally cast this a mile. Like I can dump easily a hundred plus yards with this in one cast. It casts perfect. It is easy to work. I've caught all of my biggest snook on, on this bait right here. And I am confident in it. I trust it. And it is just, it's, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's, it's awesome. So that is our top five snook baits, but tell us what yours are. Are some of yours in here? Are none of yours in here? Comment, like, subscribe, share it, and let us know what you think about our top five choices.